huge implications right now in this four-way matchup. Another example of the amazing talent in, in just in wrestling in general, but in our women's division. Look at the look at the, ta yeah. the talent that's in that ring right uh, now. This is going to be brutal, this hard is, hitting. This is going to be also one of the most important matches of the entire season of NWA Power. The winner of this four-way is going to be a, have a guaranteed title shot at hard times in New Orleans. Taya Valkyrie. Camille's got to be Green. watching closely then. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, Camille, she's in action later on on this episode, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Allison Kay for the Burke. Ooh. We don't know who's heading to New Orleans for the championship. Ooh, Taya Valkyrie taking it to Chelsea. Green, Cardona, I, don't, I can't, I don't know what her last name is. Just say Green. Uh, It'll yeah. make it easier for it you. It really will, yeah. Taya Valkyrie came so close to defeating Camille on night one of NWA 74. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that, that all four of these uh, competitors had a shot at Camille, and I'll bet you that all four of them feel like they had a chance at beating her and would love to have uh, another shot at that title. That Putting a little stink on it. Uh, Joe. <laughs> she's going for it again. Oh, but oh she got wait caught. a minute, genocide. Got caught. Genocide. genocide. waiting on her. Genocide dragging Ty Valkyrie into the post. Yeah. The green, gets Ooh. the boot up, blocked. Oh. Oh, who oh, is going to hard times in New Orleans? Genocide unleashing on Chelsea Green right now. One fall to a finish in this Boom, four way. Boom, sets her down. Big boot covered by Genocide. And Kyla King, King breaks King. it up. Yep. Caught that boot. These two have caught oh, oh, before God. in the past. Very, very familiar with each other. Look at the strength, the power of Kyla. So impressive. Cover on Genocide. Only a two count. Island seems, seems to be the freshest opponent in this match right now. But only for a moment. Oh, it's a big exactly. kick. Exactly. Caught by Chelsea. Chelsea sending both women down to the mat. Chelsea two for goes one for the special. cover on Taya. Kick out by Taya. Chelsea going for the pin on Kylin now, trying to win this match. All the way back at NWA 73 when Chelsea Green challenged Camille for the Burke. Came up unsuccessful in that match. She is still hungry for gold. And here Genocide in the NWA. is hungry for Chelsea. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm sitting here trying to think through this and break this down. Oh, oh my gosh. Cool Genocide. Nelson. And wow. I'm thinking, okay, which one of these? Oh, wow. missile drop kick. Oh, my that was God. Right to the face. His body's hitting the floor everywhere. Kylin now on Genocide. Got her up and sends her down to the mat. Beautiful neck breaker. Here comes I'm thinking, which, which one of these ladies is the favorite in this match right now? Oh, impossible. Oh, impossible to call. Oh, them. Well, yeah, that's just it. When I look in there, every, all four of these would be a favorite in any other match that, that the other three are not in. It's, yeah. it's, it's incredible. Oh, double takedown by both women now. Genocide able to get to her feet, going after Kylan King. Turning the favor and loads her up. Kylan with those elbows to Genocide, able to maneuver herself down. Goes for the wheelbarrow. Arm drag. Oh, beautiful, beautiful Kylan. Oh, Kylan's gonna go flying. Energy. Went for the kick, nobody home. Oh, man. man. Both of them. Double, double, wow. double, double super yeah. kicks. At least Chelsea Green and Taya. Taya going for the clothesline. Chelsea Green trying to set her up for the unprettier. Can she turn it around? She's got it locked turn. in. All right, setting her up. There she is. Oh, we see it. The she road. Goes. She hits it. The road to Valhalla. The road to Valhalla. Oh, Taya get the pin. Oh. The winner of this match. Taya Valkyrie! With a split second wow. to spare. If Genocide and Kylan King were only there a split second earlier, the match outcome would have been different. Congrats to Taya Valkyrie. The road to Valhalla leads to New Orleans. Taya Valkyrie will be challenging for the NWA World Women's Championship 
on the pay-per-view on November 12th. Ticket information at nationalwrestlingalliance.com. And things are just getting started on this episode of NWA Power here inside the NWA Arena in Nashville. Aren't you guys excited? And what Absolutely. a great match. What a great way to lead that off. Incredible talent, not just in the women's division, in every division in the NWA. NWA Power is amazing. I'm so I'm so proud, and I'm so impressed by all of the women here in the NWA Women's Division. And we're going to see more action. Camille is defending the NWA World Women's Championship against Allison K, a former champion. That is happening on this episode. And in our main event, Flip Gordon is going toe to toe with Doug Williams. That's all going right. to be some incredible wrestling. <laughs> He's so unreal. stick with us and see wrestling as it's meant to be. National Wrestling Alliance, it's William Patrick Corrigan. And Billy, I gotta say, we're just over a week out from NWA 74, and I thought it was amazing. What are your thoughts about NWA 74? Kyle, when I took over this company five years ago, they said I bought three worthless letters. And as I said at 74, they ain't saying it now. And it's thanks to great fans like this. To have a Ricky Steamboat come into the NWA and advise us. To have a legend like Austin Idol in the house. To have great champions. I could be more proud of our company and the strides we've taken. Chase 75, we will be there next year. We've already announced this. Oh no, we will have a 75th, 75th anniversary. We're gonna have a 100th anniversary. We're gonna get there. We are rebuilding this company. So let's look back on NWA 74 for a second. A bruising world-class main event, True. Tyrus versus Trevor Murdoch. Yeah. But let me tell you something. Those men left it all out in the field. Well, what I really know is the two best matches of NWA 74 had Camille in both of them. Yeah. Stole the show both nights. That is the legacy of the NWA power Empower, NWA Empower brand. What Mickey James brought to the NWA and built last year. So thank you, Mickey. And yes, we will do NWA Empower very soon. Don't believe the clickbait. Believe it or not, I've had a couple clickbait things in my life. So Kyle, looking forward. The company is strong. The fans are coming back. All I can say is keep watching. And thank you for giving us something to watch. More to come. For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original, lineal, heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence, as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA.
There goes the bell you see there, EC3 taking on Deontay. This might be the biggest challenge in Deontay's career in the sport of professional wrestling. <sighs> Against someone like EC3, absolutely, Joe. Making their NWA debut what right is here going, on NWA Power. Yeah, What is Making going through debut. Ethan EC3's head when he is just looking down at the mat before his match starts. I don't think anybody knows that, but EC3. I don't even know but, if he knows that. I, but I think I get the impression he's like, you know, he's a, he is truly just a ball of intensity. I think he's kind of gathering his thoughts. I think he internalizes a lot, too. And then yeah. he unleashes in the ring. And obviously there's a bitter feud between him and Tom Latimer. We saw it when Latimer was completely blindsided by the CYN crew that EC3 brought to NWA 74. And that kind of makes me wonder if maybe EC3 is not the one with, uh, with some internal demons that, that he's fighting. And I, and I think he's kind of projecting that on, on Tom Latimer. When I see EC3 in the back, he's always by himself. He's always very quiet. He doesn't speak really to anybody. Um, and then he comes out here and he unleashes. So I feel like he does internalize a lot. Look, what you see, what you see with EC3 is exactly what you get. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's, absolutely. He's, he's this way all the time. Like right now. Yeah. He's in deep thought right now. He's in his head. Yeah, it's in those moments that Deontay he needs to find that opening and just kind of oh. attack EC3. But I don't know if he's going to get a chance. Well, he, he had a shot there. He tried to reverse that, and EC3 was just ahead of him. Oh, Big God. man, what power. The intensity of EC3. Again, see? These moments of silence that he has with himself. What is going through the head of him, of EC3? Well, and, and strangely, it's not like he's losing focus. It's almost That's, like he's right. refocusing. Right. It's, it's, I don't know, for somebody like, like Deontay, it's, it's got to be intimidating. Oh my man. goodness. I don't know if you guys caught that, but he's speaking directly to Tom Latimer. And then just laid that hammer to his fore, to, of his forearm to the head. Surprised Deontay still has a face after that, grabbing yeah. the ear of Grab Deontay now. Yeah. Oh, Deontay fighting oh, back, though. Yeah, found that opening. He, he, he rocked him. Yeah, he did. You know, you, you, you hear that. Again, oh, he's unleashing on EC3 now. Yeah, he's, he's got a definite striking background, and we talk about the fact, you talk about it in boxing and MMA, sometimes all you need is a puncher's Ooh. chance. You need one punch, and maybe that's what Deontay's... Oh, oh, another man. clubbing blow to the back. Completely shutting down Deontay. Oh, got now. him on the ropes again now. Where are you oh, at, he's doing it again. Oh, he's making an example, using Deontay as an example to get to Latimer. I mean, it's the same thing that we saw Tom Latimer do. I mean, obviously sure. these guys. Yep. They're in each other's heads yeah, totally. at this point, no doubt. You don't know where I've been, Tom. Ooh. One percenter. Face plant. Just go for the cover. Come on, EC3, what are you doing? Oh, no, he's toying with Deontay at this point. It's over. Taking out his aggressions that he has internalized from t from Latimer and just taking it all out on Deontay yeah. tonight. Yeah, okay. I think he's completely focused on Tom Latimer. Uh-oh. Oh, this ain't good. The purpose. He's, he's locked in the purpose. He's, oh, he's tapping out. Yeah, Deontay had no he, choice. Yeah, he had to. No the winner of this match by submission, EC3. Winner in, I mean, honestly, a pretty easy win for EC3. Honestly, oh, wait a minute. Oh, what is Who's going out here on? now? It's, it's that whole CYN crew. With their backs turned. It's kind of creepy. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. This is not an invasion. This is an awakening. We do not come here as conquerors. We come here as liberators of the mind, the body, and the spirit. Each man that stands behind me has faced demons, depression, PTSD, anxiety, addiction. 
But these men, they didn't choose 12 steps. They made one decision. Control your narrative. Tom, Latimer, I know who you can be. I know exactly the talent and the man you can become. But you have to go through another level of hell. There is a new depth you must go to to become who you are because you do not have control. You do not have freedom. And until you go deep into the darkness that still exists within you, you will not have purpose. Tom, you've been warned. Hey, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Daniel W. Deals, Triple D, Deal Machine, whatever you want to say. Back again with Candy. How you doing, Candy? You doing pretty good? You doing pretty good? Okay, I made some special things for NWA 74. I know everybody came and everybody watched, of course, but I made just a little bit too much, so I have a little bit left. While supplies last, look, this is what the Deal Machine's going to do. Look at this. Oh, isn't that a wonderful cup? Souvenir cup, right? How about two cups in this? How about, how about we do a nice 11 by 17 poster? Look at that, everybody's on it. They, well, except for deals, but that's okay. That's okay, we gotta, we gotta put other people over sometimes, not me. Look at this sweet NWA 74 shirt. What do you think? Because all deals gotta be candy approved, can't just do it. So, got two cups, right? One, two, got the souvenir poster, right? How about that? And I got the shirt. You know what else? You know what else? Deal machine's gonna go crazy. How about this? How about this bag? I'm gonna throw this bag in too. Now, what do you think? 50 bucks, 40 bucks. Candy gets what candy wants. How about 30 bucks? I'm into it, 30 bucks, that's it. That's the NWA 74 deal, the deal bundle from the deal machine, candy approved, 30 bucks. Please welcome Casey Rocks, Rodney Mack, and my babe, Aaron Stevens. Uh, babe. Congratulations on defending your honor at NWA 74. <laughs> I was so proud of you, but does this mean you're out of retirement now? Well, no, you know what? People said I'm retired. I'm not retired. I am rewired. See, how could I walk away from a business that has given me so much? I don't want to take. I want to give and give all day, May. So I am pleased to announce the inception of Black Glove Management. That's right. I am a manager and I am going to take another venture in the professional wrestling. At, what are you doing, man? Get out. Seriously, what, what, why are you here? You asked me to be here. No, I didn't. I asked you to go do my laundry, not here, here. Laundry. Remember, behind the camera as much as possible. Go. Babe. Go. 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 Babe. What? That little fool was. Uh -huh. All right. Anyways, yes, I'm not retired. I'm rewired and we're open for business. Okay. My first client. Who you mistakenly called Rodney Mack. Uh, uh, He's, yeah. I don't, why would anything about this point to Rodney Mack? Baby, everybody's talking about the return of question mark, but I'm so confused. What's going on? See, possession is 10 tenths of the law, okay? Mongrovia is a wonderful country. There's no copyright laws. Hey, there's some copyright laws here in the United States. Now, again, there is no one that can prove that this is not the question mark. So why, in a country where we say innocent until proven guilty, am I being questioned? No pun intended. Hey, you, this is the question mark. Speak. Sensei, please. Karate. Bam! Right there. That's the money. Money makes the world go round. And I make money. Therefore, that means that black glove management is the centrifugal force that binds the whole universe together and gets the cosmos spinning and the championships winning. Black love. Question mark. Karate. Uh, this is the first time I've heard of this, but we'll talk about it later. Okay. Thanks, babe. The following match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. It is for the NWA World Women's Championship. Introducing first, she is one half of the Hex, 
This is AK Allison K. Former NWA World Women's Champion and could recapture the Burke right here, right now on Power. Always impressive, always And her powerful. opponent. She is the NWA World Women's Champion. This is the Brick House Camille. One time, one time NWA Women's World Champion. Speaking of impressive and powerful. 100%. She's I, been able to put away every single opponent that she has faced in the NWA. And she has faced some, some tough Yeah, some women. tough competition. My yeah. and, goodness. And she's doing it again. She's doing it again. Oh, yeah. 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 Allison Kay, former world champion, former tag team champion. And look at Allison Kay. I mean, she she's is ready. She's ready for a fight. She, she knows what it Burke. takes. She knows what it takes to win it. Once you've been there before, once you can taste that, you sure. just want it more. And we already know Taya Valkyrie. She has solidified her opportunity. A guaranteed title shot at Hard Times in New Orleans. November 12th, ticket information at nationalwrestlingalliance.com. Strong lockup here by both women. Be interesting to see. Yeah. Camille's got AK in the corner. AK able, able to power her out into the... Okay, they're turning yeah. it around now. A real feeling out process. These two have done battle in the in the past. It has been a while since Allison K has had an opportunity for the NWA World Women's Championship. She's not going to let it slip through her hands easily. Woo. And they came out of that equally. I mean, that was yeah. two powerhouses. Two, two ladies that know exactly what their strengths are, and they're just matching those up right now. Alice K calling for the test of strength. I don't know if that's a good decision, but if anybody can match it, it would be AK and Camille. Absolutely. Who's going to get the advantage here? Well, both these both these ladies are used to being the stronger, more powerful person in the ring. Good point, yeah. Tim. So good neither, point. Yeah, neither one's going to back down from this because they both think that they're going to win it. Just like just like the match. This is going to be interesting because their strength is pretty much matched. Yep. You know, isolating the left arm. Also keep backing her to the ropes. Sends it off. Camille holds on though. Smart. Drop down from the champion. That hip toss on AK. Ooh, that spin kick to the wow. face of Allison K. And look at Camille's Sizing looking to end this match. She wants to end this match early. Hey, you can't blame her. Uh, if, if she can put AK away now, I mean, she doesn't have to endure. Oh, she oh. missed it. Oh, wow. shoulder first into the steel post. And we've seen just how much damage that shoulder took during both nights of NWA 74. I don't know if she's back to 100%, even at this point. No, it, it could take months uh, to, after, after the battles that she went through. Even if she's not 100%, Camille, you would never be able to tell. Yeah, she's right back on that arm. Fujiwara arm bar locked in. Yeah, I mean, it, it, again, AK, just like, because of her championship background, she knows exactly how Ooh. to attack yeah, something. Look how vicious she's been. Work on that shoulder. Yep. Using the cutting bone of her forearm. Oh my God. Getting deep oh. into that deltoid. Into the, the shoulder. You can, when that's happening, you can almost feel feel those muscles and those tendons stretching and trying to tear. And there's Before nothing they you, pop. Yeah, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, yeah. you can fight it all you want, but when she's in that position, you're defenseless. Knee strikes to the face of Camille by AK. Well, and, and AK knows exactly what she's doing. You know, she knows how that's going to feel. She's going after that arm, trying to weaken it. Oh my gosh! Oh, just about to, pulled yeah, it out of socket. I was about, I was yeah, say, I, mean, it's, I was about to say that was certainly dangerous. And the winner of this match will face Taya Valkyrie. Oh, and New she Orleans. did it again. Yeah. Don't forget that little yeah. tidbit. Taya Valkyrie already punching the ticket to hard times in New Orleans. Either one of these women versus Taya Valkyrie is just going to be an incredible matchup. But like we've seen over the last uh, 400 something days, it's hard. To, it's it's going to be hard to get. It's going to be hard to dethrone yeah. Camille. Yeah, she's, I, she's proven it. If anyone can do it, it is the veteran in Allison Kay. 
And look, she is look just at the shoulder. Apart. Wrenching and twisting. Yeah. And look, if you keep targeting that shoulder, it really yeah. weakens oh. the spear oh, from you, Camille. Yeah, you break it down. Well, it, it, the, the, the torture rack, a lot of the things that she does are strength-based. Take, take half that arm, take half that shoulder away. Takes away half of her oh. offense. It may take away all of it. We don't know. And the eyelashes come loose. Nice touch, that's AK. How, that's how brutal this fight's been. Oh, oh my gosh, Camille answering with some chops and blows of her own to AK. Camille has had enough. She is looking to put an end to this match sooner than later and retain her title. Camille out to the apron. Oops, nice. slides in. Moved by the champ. No. Goes for the bicycle kick. AK averting the center. Oh, again. Right back to the arm. Again. Locking the Fujiwara again. And, and look at the way she points yep. the palm towards yep. her. Look at the shoulder. Look at the pressure on that shoulder right now. Absolutely. That, that, that shoulder, that that shoulder could, that could oh. pop out of the socket at any given moment. Your shoulder's not meant to bend back that far. At this point, Camille's also got to be starting to think about her whole career. Oh, my gosh. Not just with match, not just the Burke, but a look at how that arm is just being bent. Now into the cross face. Oh, no. Into the cross face. She was trying so hard to get to that bottom rope to break the hold, but AK wrenching that cross face Is she going to tap? In. Is she going to tap? After more than 400 days. Cover now. Others are down. Kick out Ooh, by Camille. As much, as much as you start wondering about your career and you wonder about the injury that's happening, it, it, she knows that she's she, she's the Burke at this point. Yeah. And, and it, you start weighing those in, and I, and I bet you that she would take a, a potentially career-ending injury over losing that, that title. And then you could see that Allison K was really studying those matches from NWA 74 oh, yeah. against Taya Valkyrie, against Max the Impaler, yep. all the damage that was done to Camille. She is picking Camille apart. Yeah, she's been through the same wars that Camille has, and, and I wouldn't expect anything different from Allison K. Uh, she's a professional. She's going after a weak spot just like she should. And she wants that work. She is not letting up at all on Camille. Specifically, continuously targeting that shoulder. Well, and, and as you as you see the pressure on that build, build on her arm, you can feel the wow. tension in the room too. I mean, people are starting to wonder. Nobody. Oh, sure. Everyone in the in the studio right now is is watching on with concern. You, you you almost never see Camille in this vulnerable of a position for this long, anyway. Yes. Well, and, and I think the I think the. the the people watching this right now, they're, they're, the tension is partially win and lose, but it's also, they're starting to be concerned about Cam Camille's career also. Oh, sure, yeah. Camille able to fight back now. Ooh, but AK with that knee. Slowing all the momentum of the champion. Floats over. It's Camille. Still showing some oh, power. Oh, 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 even wow. after that shoulder has been destroyed. She you know. can't capitalize. She can't capitalize. She can't go for the pin. Well, and one of the things that, that I see is that's different there, and a lot of times you'll see Camille get, get her opponent up, walk her across the ring into a turnbuckle, turn, run across the ring, and hit that. It was everything oh, sure. she could do to get to, to get AK up and get her turned. And, she's, and she immediately grabs the shoulder. Both women trying to get back to their feet. That slam took something out of AK. Oh! Face first. Face first again. Camille now trying to break AK down in the corner. Camille has found a second wind in this matchup. Shoots her in the turnbuckle. Boom! Sends her down. Cover with... Ooh. This could be a oh, kick so out. Close. And now this match, it's really going into the deep water at this point. It's been going on for quite some time. It might come down to who has enough gas in the tank. Well, and, and you know, both, both of these ladies went through some battles in, you know, at 74. Both of them had some damage done to their body. Oof. But right now, AK has gotten the best of this so far. Oh my gosh. Samoan drop from right AK. Right on the arm. This is it. A boot. Oh my oh, gosh! Wow. Almost a new NWA Women's World Champion. I think I think Allison Case, and not frustrated, but she's starting to wonder what else am I going to have to do here? And this may be oh, her she, answer. This could be it right here. Yep, this could Big be her answer. Maneuver. She's looking for the AK-47. Camille with the roll up though. Shoulders down. Kick out. Now Camille looking for something big. Boom. Spinning neck breaker. Immediately. Covered by the, the champ. Leg. 
Kick out by AK. Wow. What else can these women do? Just goes to show just how important the Burke is. You have to leave it all out on the line. Thudding chest. Thudding blow to the chest. Oh, man. Oh. Follows him with another one. One minute remains. One minute remains. Oh, my gosh. They are just punishing each other. Oh, the intensity of this match between both women. Another clubbing blow to the yeah, chest. Look at, yeah, look at the damage they've done to Neither each other. Neither of these women point. are willing to yield. Camille coming off the rope. Double, Double oh. close line. Both wow. women down. What a match between I don't, two incredible warriors. I don't know if either one of them have anything left here. AK's kind of kind of the ahead getting up here, but they have they have beat each other to a pulp. Oh. Another exchange of forearms. Wow. Camille's still trying to get some feeling back in that left arm and that left shoulder. Guys, I gotta, I gotta, I have to say it again. We have, the NWA women's division is on fire. We have some of the best female athletes on the planet here in the NWA. I'm so proud wow. to be here. Oh, and the, the fellas are oh, still the exchanging. The time moves. limit has expired. Yeah, stopping. The match is over. This is a draw. Camille retains the Burke. And the crowd, they still want to see a fight. They're hungry. I can't say enough. They want to see a definitive win. I can't say enough good things about this division. I'm so happy to be here, to be able to, to just see all these different women in the NWA showcase their talent and their skills week after week. But here's the thing, even with this draw, we now know Camille's holding on to the Burke. She is heading to hard times in New Orleans to take on Taya Valkyrie. It's gonna be Camille versus Taya too in New Orleans. And a show of respect by both women right here. Very nice, I like to see that. I love to see that. AK, very, very upset right now, but incredible matchup between we, we both We gotta women. keep things moving along. May Valentine, she's, she is backstage with the Cardona family. May, take it away. Please welcome the Cardona family. Matt, you've made it clear you plan on facing Trevor Murdoch at NWA 74 in New Orleans, but what's your physical condition? <laughs> I'll be honest, full disclosure, I came back too early. Against doctor's orders, against my family's wishes, but I did it for you guys watching at home, the NWA universe. And I was almost 100%. And then Trevor had to get involved, attack me from behind. What's the matter, Trevor? Are you afraid? That I can beat you? Because guess what? I can, and I did. But you didn't beat me to become champ. And Mike, can I assume that your issues with Bully Ray are over now that he's beat you at NWA 74? He put you through a table. He, uh, he did what? Put you through a table. I don't, I don't remember that at all. You don't? No, no. Okay. Here's what you can assume, though. Uh, you can assume that if I see Bully Ray in the same locker room as me, I'm going to jump on him and I'm going to try to break his face. If I see Bully Ray walking down the hallway, I'm going to jump on his back and I'm going to try to break his neck. If I see Bully Ray driving down the street, I'm going to follow him to his house and I'm going to break in the door. Bully Ray is not going to be finished with me. He better live with his head on a swivel. And if he doesn't like that, he can go to hell. Okay, uh, VSK and Brian, since you're also here, what's next for you guys? Listen, we are proud members of the Cardona family, okay? We are here to save the NWA. Yeah, I'm only here in the NWA because my best friend in the whole world asked me to be, right? Okay. Do you have any friends? Probably not, so you wouldn't know what that's like. Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, Matt, is this something you're comfortable with, managing your friends' careers? They're not my friends. Oh. They're my family, and we're here so we can all become champions together. Let's go, boys. Okay. Thank you, boys. I'll be your friend. No, it's okay. Thanks. Mm. Bye. Talk is on a fever pitch. Austin Iron in the headlines all over again. He's on NWA Fight TV pay per view. He's on NWA Power on the Fight TV Network all around the globe. Austin Idol is still, has always been, always will be a big deal, a driving force 
in professional wrestling and you want to be part of this business, you want to be standing here like the idol. You want to be standing here like next to the idol. How would you like to be on NWA Power, on Fight TV? You know it's possible. Anything is possible. Your impossible dream is possible. But there's one thing you got to do, darling. You got to get the right training from the right guy at the right place, and you're looking at him. Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College in Greenville, South Carolina, man. You go to that website and sign up. I will take you under my wing. I will teach you. I will coach you. I will show you all the ins, the outs, the ups and downs, and how to make you successful, <laughs> just like me. The one and only Universal Heartthrob, Austin Idol. UniversalWrestlingCollege.com. UniversalWrestlingCollege.com. Go there. Being tried, trying to pull him off. Oh my God! Look at the statistics. I, I, I think it's crazy. I think Jack Dane has completely lost it here. I think he snapped. Sylvia was oh. trying to talk some sense into Jack Dane. Oh, he got this. That's it. The belt's That's wrong. It. That's it. Yeah, he pushed the ref. What are you gonna do? Sylvia trying to get Jack Dane off of Jack Draper, who's oh my God, is being choked. Jack, to death. we've seen Jack's temper before. We've seen his hot-headedness, but right now he is completely Oh my snapped. God, he's gonna he, hit Silvio. Uh, he's gonna hit Silvio. He's gone mad, this, is, this has been the only he's person crazy. that's been able to control him. Please welcome the OGK. Guys, you've had tremendous success everywhere you've gone whether it's Ring of Honor or Impact, but now you're after NWA Gold. Why is that? Why? That's a great question, but I think you answered it in your previous statement when you said we have seen success wherever we have gone. But for some reason, Matthew, NWA Gold has somehow eluded us. It always just seems right there, and then it walks away on its own, and I can't figure it out, but that is the sole reason why I have entered the national title tournament, because it is about time that either Matt Taven or Mike Bennett has gold around their waist, because it just seems right. And even with all that going on, even with my man in the tournament, it's not making us forget what our first goal was from day one. We want to be the NWA World Tag Team Champions. And La Melvins, they have those belts right now. They've been a thorn in our side. They keep spitting mist in our faces. They know what's coming to them. They're avoiding us for a reason because they know that they're looking at the future NWA World Tag Team Champions. And while I'm at it, you know, I, I look around here and I see a lot of successful guys and I want to be one of those guys that writes his name on a very short list of NWA world champions. You see, Matt Taven's been a world champion before. He came here to be a two-time world champion. But in the meantime, I plan on being my man's number one cheerleader. And it's not going to take a miracle for this man to become the national champion. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you. The following match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first, he's one half of the Commonwealth Connection and the ambassador of British wrestling. This is Doug Williams. And his opponent from Kalispell, Montana, this is Flip Gordon. It is main event time here in the NWA arena. And as you can see, the former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Nick Aldis, he's here at ringside. But what was so interesting is Nick Aldis, he appeared to be coming out with both competitors simultaneously. Obviously, he has a long relationship with Doug Williams. And he's gone to battle. Yeah, uh, with Flip Gordon on multiple occasions. And I, I see that whole thing as, as a show of respect. Um, this ought to be an incredible matchup. Oh, yeah, it's great, to, to, yeah. See, it's great to see Flip Gordon back in the NWA ring, making his debut at NWA 74. Incredible athlete. This is going to be a great match between both men. And you know, it's so disappointing. I know so many NWA fans out there, they love to see the national yeah. treasure in action, but he is not medically cleared to compete, suffering a severe concussion at the hands of Odinson at NWA. Way 74. Hopefully he can get cleared soon, get yeah. back to in-ring right. action. Definitely. But at this point, I mean, Nick nope. Aldis, he, he wants to be close to this ring. He wants to be right. in the arena. He's found a reason to be out here and to see an incredible match firsthand. Well, and, and Odinson was suspended because of that. I mean, uh, the yeah. action that he took at the, at, at the end of that match in 74, uh, he came to the ring, was, wasn't a part of the matchup. I mean, but oh, speaking of Otis, and he disrespected 74 by doing that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, like, 100%. No doubt. That, it was uncalled for. 
Well, you were talking about uh, Nick coming out here. Uh, you know, he's got the best seat in the house besides, I mean. He sure does. Now better than us, but I'm just, I mean, he understands the, the skill level and the, the abilities of these guys. I mean, you got to enjoy this no matter who you are. Covered by Doug Williams. Oh, the damage has been done to Flip Gordon. Oh, yeah, he's feeling it. Doug Williams, the ambassador of British-style wrestling. I say all wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could say that for sure. So much experience. You can you can respect each other, you can like each other, you can be friends, and you could get in there in the ring and do some serious damage to each other either way. Oh, yeah. That's just what wrestling is. Oh, oh my gosh. Back. European uppercut. Follows it up with a clothesline in the corner. Doug Williams gets lost. Oh my gosh. Big main event matchup on an already historic episode of Power. Oh my gosh. Beautiful maneuver by Flip Gordon. Into the super kick. Able to turn this around for himself. Follows it up with a clothesline in the corner. Snapmare on Doug Williams. Setting him up. Oh, Penalty stiff. kick. One leg. Beautiful one flip. Leg Beautiful. One leg, one count. Well, and that, what a lot of people don't, uh, don't, you know, kind of behind the curtain a little bit. Uh, the, the, pl the original plan here was for for Nick and Flip to to tag, to work as right. a tag for this for this season, and with Nick's concussion, you know that kind of that kind of the yeah. Yeah. Things, yeah. things unfortunately things happen like that. We saw that with Harry Smith right. out with an yeah. illness, forcing Doug Williams and the Commonwealth Connection as a whole to relinquish those titles at the last pay per view, with La Rebellion being our new NWA World Tag Team Champions. Well, and Joe, you used the term heartbreaking. It, yeah. it really was. And, I, and for somebody who, you know, I, I respect Doug Williams. I love to see him in the ring. For him not to get an opportunity to defend those um, and have to hand that over. Now, again, we have a new new tag champs. They deserved it. But I would I, I know he would have loved to defend it, and I would have loved to have seen it. And you know Doug Williams, he's always going to be in the hunt for gold anywhere he goes, especially here in the NWA. Flip oh, Gordon my gets gosh. Rocked. He got rocked. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Okay, let him, I'm giving him time. Let him get out of the corner. Nice snap suplex by Doug Williams as he covers split. One count. Didn't hook the leg. I feel like he was feeling a little confident there. Well, we talk, oh. we talk about wrestlers taking shortcuts, and, and that right there was proof uh, that you could do things the right way and still do a lot of damage. The pressure on the neck and the shoulder of Flip Gordon right now. Oh. He drops the knee across the side of the face. You see the look in the eyes of Nick Aldis watching yeah. this match. And Gordon I, is taking a beating, but you got to give credit where credit's due. He's able to hang in there. And, and I kind of have to wonder, you know, <laughs> while he's watching this, what's what's Nick thinking? What's he seeing? You've got a guy who was your tag team partner. You've got a guy who was going to be your tag team partner. You've got a friendship with both. What's he, what's he see while he's watching this? He's not cheering for anybody. Like he's studying. Yeah. Right back suplex. That was a high angle. A lot of damage Flip to Gordon, that back. His lower back, yeah, yeah. his lower back is, is definitely a lot of damage to the lower back. And that's going to have a major impact on all of Flip yeah. Gordon's offense, oh, all sure. that high flying he loves to do. And now with the camel clutch, it could just be a moment of, a matter of moments. Flip Gordon could tap out here. He's able he's to got, break yeah. the right arm free, the left arm free now. Working he's on those hands. Trying to break that hold. Trying to muscle his way out. Mm. Oh, but gets shut right back down by Doug Williams. Doug Williams really putting on a clinic. Oh, he, right is. he sure yeah. is. This is and, a different side of Flip Gordon. I'm used to seeing him in his matches, high flying, taking control. And Doug not, Williams has done a great yeah, job of grounding him. Not seen a lot of that in this match. Well, he hadn't had an opportunity. Every every well, sure, time, yeah. yeah. Every time he seems to get just a little something going, he gets shut right back down. Oh, you said it, clinic. Still able to land on his feet and gets the boot up. Flip Gordon. 
Just found an opportunity here coming off the rope. Let me go flip. Big drop, drop kick. kick. Yeah. That was everything he had left right there. He and landed on his back. And he's time to recover, and you can see the applause from Nick Aldis. And it took Doug Williams off his feet. Both men down right now. Who can get to their feet first and strike first? Oh, the damage has been done. You can see Flip Gordon just constantly gripping the, his lower back, favoring it. A lot of pain has been inflicted on his lower back. And for anybody watching it, yeah, most many people have had back pain. When you get those spasms, when it starts locking up, completely it hurts shut you down. Yeah, it'll yeah. completely shut you down. Flip now regaining control of oh, this match. Wow. Beautiful. Springboard off the top rope. Now as Doug Williams up on the shoulder. Doug able to escape on the back door. Flip holds on. Up he goes. Oh. Tornado DDT. This could be it. Cover Big victory on Doug here. Williams. Kick oh, out. Two count. Wow. Gotta stay on him, Flip. Oh, and he's got STF. that locked in deep. The submit to Flip STF. Look at the hand of Doug Williams shaking. Look at that S grip he's got implied. Uh, he's got All that. that blood rushing to his head. He's trying desperately to get to that bottom rope to break the hold. Can got he that get leg there in trapped. Time? Ooh, so close. He oh, got he's there. there. He got there. He got there. Nick Aldis is impressed. He's got to be impressed by both of them at this point. He, I, and I've, wa I've watched. Nick Aldis has, has applauded the efforts of both guys. Uh oh. So, uh oh. Uh -oh. No. Not good, wow. Flip. Not good. He is Not being bent in half. Ooh, face first into the turnbuckle. Just planting him on that top rope, and you can see Flip Gordon's almost gone limp up there. Doug Williams is looking for something big, something with some high impact, looking to end this match. Oh, He's not good hooked. for Flip, not good. Not a good position to be in at all. Flip needs to fight back, somehow get Doug Williams off of him. And he does yeah, it. Able to do it. Flying through there, he gets oh, but he caught. caught him. Oh. him right over wow. in that lower back pain still being inflicted. Double under hook. Oh, oh, Tiger driver. Tiger driver. Oh, oh so close. Sick, and I thought that wow. was so it. Close. Flip Gordon, so much heart, so much fight. Much respect. What could Flip Gordon have left in the tank at this point? We may oh, be Douglas was, he was trying to set up Chaos Theory. He was looking for that Chaos Theory German suplex. Flip. Oh, my the gosh. The Death Valley driver. Super oh. kick. It's got to be an L. Oh, oh, so Oh, my cool. gosh. Oh, whew. Whew. This is an incredible match and between the, both men here. The crowd showing their respect for both men right now. It's anybody's ball game. Flip goes to the top. Boom, so he hits it on Doug Williams. Cover. Oh, my oh. God. This, what more can they do? This is what we expect to see in every main event on NWA Power. Incredible matches with the best athletes. Looking for Chaos Theory. Oh. Hands on his feet. Wow. Duck the clothesline. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Stunner, cover, cover. He, he got it. Stunner. The winner of this match. Flip Gordon! Star Spangles Stunner for the big victory for Flip Gordon. He really endured a savage beatdown from Doug Williams, but Flip is dead. Oh, look at it! No, no, no! no. Oh, he's got he's got that speed. That's the purpose! He's got that spray right in Flip Gordon's eyes. What is that? Purpose. Locking eyes with, with all Nick this. Aldis. Nick Aldis is not medically cleared to compete. And he's not medically All this taking it to Odinson now. Not medically cleared, but not caring. He's not going to back down from a fight. Yeah, nope, definitely not. Well, the world champion is never going to back down. Especially Nick Aldis. He doesn't back down from anyone. No matter what. Oh, he's calling Odinson out now. now. Aldis wants a fight. No. But I think Odinson once again is sending a message. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more action on NWA USA this Saturday. Our national title tournament continues. We'll see you Saturday.